Ah, alrighty then. Hey, this is Wentis yet again. I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play of Persona 3 FES. Last time, we had a really close call in Tartarus, and we also started the Emperor Social Link. This time, we're just going to be heading out this evening. We're going to be heading to Paulonia Mall, and there is something I have an idea for here. I want to test something, and if I test this, I'll have my answer that I've been looking for for a while. What I've been wondering is what arcade is here on Monday, or what arcade game. I, the ones I'm not sure are just Monday and Tuesday. After that, I'll know what all of them are. So, Print Club is Monday. Print Club is on Monday and Thursday, then, which increases our charm dramatically. Which I don't want to do right now. Charm is a secondary priority. So, tonight, we're just going to be heading to the Karaoke Club. So, let's head up there. It's Monday night, so it's definitely not busy. It's only on Friday and Saturday nights that it's too busy for us to enter. So, let's go ahead in. Courage has increased. See, the timing of when these things happen is why I've chosen to go to Tartarus on Saturdays. And also, of course, we're going to study. I kind of wish study was the, the default, because I hate skipping studying, because that sucks. But um, the reason for everything is that on Monday, uh, on Monday I can go to the karaoke club. On Tuesday, I can go to the, uh, whatchamacallit, the arcade for more courage. Wednesday thir and Thursday, I can also go to the karaoke club. And then on Friday, I can go to the arcade for more courage. And then on Saturday, I can go to Tartarus. That way, I have a very varied schedule, and Sundays I can use for a bit more free time. That's why I've gone for the particular schedule I have. So, let's see what we got here. Acclimated? I've not really heard that term. I assume it's just gotten used to, I suppose. So, yeah, I've gotten pretty used to it around here. Thank you. Oh, what is it? Wait, so if you're not in the lounge, we will explore Tartarus the following day. Interesting. I wasn't really paying attention to that in particular with my playthrough previously, but that's kind of good to know. It also should be noted that one thing that I don't believe they've told us about yet is that if both Akihiko and Mitsuru are gone, we cannot go to Tartarus because we're not allowed to go on our own. And hey Kenji, what's up? I'm currently not doing anything after school. Oh, you know, I think I will hang out with Kenji after, after school. And he's making the same joke as last time. But he does have something to talk to us about. He was talking about asking out a teacher. So, that's something interesting. And I guess we don't have anything to do at school today. So class has ended. Now, I do want to check in with one thing. I do want to hang out with Kenji, but there's one thing I want to check first. I believe... There actually is something else we could do today. Well, we could do it today, I think. In fact, I'm, I'm like 90% certain that we could. But... Uh, yeah, I'd rather wait till a day... Actually, let me check something real quick. Just gonna cut ahead real quick. Alright, yeah, I've decided, and I'm going to spend time with Kenji after school today. There's something else we could do, but I'm gonna do that next Saturday. Uh, yeah, she's pretty attractive. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at that, honestly. And that was actually important. Pay attention to that. Though Kenji gives you a lot of hints in this game as far as social links go. He is our first social link, after all. Well, other than the C social link, but he's our first real one. That's, like, not a group of people. But thanks to us having Nekomata, it's a good idea to hang out with Kenji. So, let's go ahead. So, let's see... Oh, so we're back here at the ramen shop again. Man, I'd really like to try the ramen at this place. It sounds good. What? You're sick of ramen already? Well, we have gone three times, but I love ramen. Oh. Wrong answer. Sorry, I was trying to make a bit of a joke with that. Hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh... High school can easily get into a dull cycle like that. You know, I say go for it, Kenji. Wait, we have a girlfriend? Oh, right, he thinks we're dating Yukari. 
Uh, yeah, I have a girlfriend too. Well, technically, I... Me personally, not Minato, I do, but Minato does not currently. Oh, that's right, you're going after a teacher, so that... So... Uh, maybe I shouldn't have encouraged him. Oh, well, it's... His choice. Miss Kano? Kano? Yeah, Miss Kano. Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen her yet. Oh, 12th grade ethics. Well, at least you're racing the class. <laughs> Seems like you admire her quite a bit, Kenji. Oh. Uh, well, of course I won't tell anyone, but I'm glad to know that you trust me that much. So, the voice rings in our head. And I want to point out, answering those questions correctly like I messed up that one earlier, that's not in your best interest. You want them, you want to answer them correctly as best as you can, because that will make it so they'll take fewer visits with the social link to master it. Which is ideal, because spending time with them when they're not going to level up actually has, it basically just uses up time and, and you don't get to see anything. And it's, you want to do this as efficiently as possible, so I'm going to try to avoid answers like that. Uh, I'll leave most of that plan to you, because I'm not really that much into asking out older women, so I don't really know what to do. But maybe Kenji has experience with that. I mean, I, well, I wonder if he's ever tried it before, actually. Welcome back. Oh, thank you, Mitsuru. Oh, cool, we'll have internet back in the, uh, the apartment. Is it an apartment, technically? I guess it's technically a dorm. Excellent. Well, yeah, except for Akihiko's rib cage. So that's what he injured. He injured his rib cage. Well, that sucks. Yeah, actually, I do play a lot of online games, Junpei. Let's see. This is this takes place in what 2008. I play a lot of League of Legends. I wonder if League of Legends was even out in 2008. I don't know if it was. Maybe it was like an alpha or something. But yeah, I, I play a lot of online games. Innocent Sin Online. That's actually a reference to Persona 2, which is Persona 2 Innocent Sin. Yeah, I understand the feeling of burnout on an online game, but yeah, I'll give it a try sometime. Thank you, Junpei. Still, it is Tuesday, so we actually do have something I intend to do tonight. We're gonna go out for the evening. So, let's see now, if we go out this way... Head to Palonia Mall. We're gonna go by the arcade tonight. It'll, actually, I should probably check how much yen I have left. I think I have, still have a fair amount from all the grinding I did. Well, I didn't do a whole lot of grinding. Uh, where's our money? 2,274 yen. I, I don't think that's actually enough. I think we require 3,000 yen to do this. Let's see. Yep, we require 3,000 yen. Well, crap. Um... I'm gonna see if I can sell some stuff. I think the pharmacy's open, yeah. If I sell some stuff, then I should be pretty well set. This also brings another thing. The pharmacy allows us to sell a lot of stuff. Uh, not just sell stuff, but we can buy a lot of medicine here. And I think I'm actually gonna... Mostly sell anything that we're not using. Since we can't sell items that our uh, teammates have equipped. So yeah, we gotta spare one of those. Spare one of those, yep. Engineer boots, though, I don't... Oh, that's just general boots. Alright, uh, we got... Empress masks. Those we can sell. Those we got from killing those first three boss personas, and they sell for 2,000 yen each. Which is about $20, so... It's really worth it for us. Uh, we could also sell the wealth coin we got, which is worth 3,000 yen. So, gold personas are really good for getting a lot of money. Other than that... Interesting, those are all things we have equipped. I hope we didn't actually sell things that our allies have equipped, which I'm pretty sure we can't even do anyway. Still, while I'm here, I'm gonna pick up five Revival Beats, because you never know when you're gonna need these things. We could also get a lot of other things. We get Super Cat Food, oddly enough. Uh, muscle Drink, which restores allies' HP pretty well, but it can also make them sick, which is not good. Still, that's all I'm gonna be buying from these guys, or this guy, rather. And that gives us a fair amount of gold. We can also go into the antique shop, which is of new, no use to us. 
We can also go into the police shop, but not at the evening. During the day, we can go here to buy new weapons. Or on nights, on very specific nights, we can go here as well. Right now, we cannot, however. But now we have enough money for the arcade. We just sold everything we own to go play arcade games. It's just like real life! Nah, not like real life most of the t nowadays. We don't play arcade games, we play games at home, like I am right now. Still, uh, in doing this, this gives us a very large boost to our courage. And I- hopefully? Fingers crossed? Oh, no upgrade yet. That's a shame. Oh well. Let's see, what will we do? We can study tonight. I want to check something real quick, though. Alright. So, let's go ahead and study and go to sleep. So, that would be the ideal thing to do tonight, I'd say. Hopefully we don't end up tired, because that would suck. Academics has increased. Okay, we still haven't gotten stuck on our worst subject even once in this game playthrough, which is really good. Whew, it's actually a bit of a relief that that's not happened yet, but it could very well happen soon. Still, today is Wednesday, which we have the day off today. Because today is Showa Day. And internet is fixed, so... Today is the equivalent of a Sunday for a day off. But, the internet is fixed today, so we're going to actually spend that playing the online game that Junpei gave us. So we can play the MMORPG of Innocent Sin Online. Spring Year 20XX. Oh, we already have a message. Phil. I guess this is just like the intro to the game. I wonder, I've never played Persona 2, so I'm wondering if this actually has anything to do with lines from the actual game. Probably does. Alright, so we're inside the hospital there. There's one other player here. I guess this isn't a very popular MMO if there's only one player in an area. Reporter. Uh, sup. Sorry about the quick cut there, I accidentally said something I didn't mean to. So, yeah, we're a nub. I, <laughs> I forgot about this scene. Yeah, we literally just started up. Thank you for welcoming me to Tegain. Oh. Well, this person apparently has been playing for quite some time. Ah. Uh, I had a feeling since there was only one other person here. Yeah, it's not popular anymore? Oh, out of character, yeah. I can't blame you. It's it's very fun to kind of play as an alternate self. Ah, uh, I'm not sure what I'll call my character. Oh, Tatsuya. Ah, uh, sure, that'll work. And this is Maya, then. Hatsuya and Maya. I'm not sure what that's a reference to, but I'd love if someone could point out in the comments to me. I'm just gonna say that's clever. Uh, I definitely didn't play whatever game that's referencing. <laughs> Alright then. Alright, so you're usually idling here on your days off, so... Yeah, it'd be fun to spend some time with this online. I, it's always fun to find a close friend on an online game. And thus, we've begun, begun a new social link. This is the social link of the Hermit Arcana. We've begun it with Maya, the online social link, if I remember what it's correctly it's called, or the online game social link, technically. This is one of my favorite social links, because it's very entertaining. This is one we can go with on Sundays, but only on Sundays, and possibly on other days off like we have today. So, 
See you later, Maya. And just like a real online game, if we start playing it, we don't stop playing it till it's time to go to sleep. We don't even get to study or anything, it just skips to the next day. So it's very realistic. Still, the online game social link is primarily what we'll be doing on Sundays from now on. Let's see. Mr. Ono. Ah, uh, well, whether you can make better decorations, I think, is kind of irrelevant. I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know much about the Sengoku era, but if you say it's interesting, I'll take your word for it. The Warhawk of the Battlefield, eh? Uh, and he just keeps going on, and we're gonna stay awake for it, because A, we're not going to Taurus tonight, so... Normally, if we sleep, we could recover from being tired or end up in great status, but... It's better if we just stay up and get the... Academics. Oh wait, he just said something that was gonna be on the exam, didn't he? Crap, I should've paid attention. It's actually really good to pay attention because there are exams in this game where... It'll actually quiz you on things that it asked you in class, and sometimes on just general knowledge. But yeah, it's really good. It's really in your best interest to remember everything you can. Still, it's Thursday after school today. I want to check on something as well. No, I'm, I already know what's going to happen. So, um, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to spend time with Kanji. Uh, Kanji? Kanji, Kanji. Who's a character I know of named Kanji? I think that's a character Persona 4. But we're going to spend time with Kenji. <laughs> Oh, right, he was talking about, uh, someone who hangs out and eats a lot of food. So, about the Gourmet King. So, that's an interesting little comment. Again, Kenji gives a lot of important information. So, yeah, let's go ahead and spend some time with Kenji again today. I know it feels like we're spending all of our time with Kenji, but... Honestly, I'm okay with that, because Kenji's an awesome social link, and... There will be one we'll be starting on in just a bit. So let's go ahead and go with Kenji. And let me guess, we're going to the ramen shop. Oh, we're not. <laughs> we're actually going to Wild Duck Burger. But wait, I don't have enough courage to enter here. Well, I guess if I'm with a friend, it's not that big a deal. Oh, sadly, this is a case of what happens when, uh... It's because I screwed up earlier and I didn't get the right answer. Our social link didn't actually level up. Because of that... Uh, sadly, we just spent time with him and nothing happened. But next time, our relationship should be, should improve. Our cell phone's ringing. Elizabeth? Um... Okay, how do you have a cell phone? Okay, A, how do you have a cell phone? B, how are you calling me from a place that's outside time and space? And how good are your bars? Oh, so there's an entrance in Paolonia Mall. Interesting. Huh. But wait a minute, if she can call us on a cell phone, A, that confirms we're not crazy, and oh, B, hey. I wonder if she could talk to anyone else around here. Like, could she just, like, hand over the phone, or would no one else be able to hear her, or what? Still, um, I think I'm gonna listen to what, uh... Elizabeth had to say, and we're gonna head over to the Velvet Room. I, in fact, I think we're required to tonight. But that's okay by me, because this is something I've been waiting for since starting this game. This is something that's very important, and it's gonna be something I'll be covering all of... Ugh, I'm shuddering just thinking about it. Oh boy, oh boy, I can't believe I'm actually gonna do this. Still, um, yes, there is a door here. We can, if we go into the back alley at Polonia Mall, we can enter, enter the Velvet Room pretty much any time, which is really convenient. Uh, what's the problem? Okay, uh, shoot. Okay, do you want me to go find someone with exceptional strength or something? Oh, you mean me? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, sure then. Escorting? Okay, I can do that. Oh, well, that's useful. Alright, so now we can accept Elizabeth's requests. So if we go to accept requests... 
this is all the options we have now, but we can see what she wants, and holy cow, she wants a lot of things. Now, um, some things to note with these things. Some of these require you to go into Tartarus, like this one, retrieve a beetle shell. Which, remember that grave beetle we fought? We could have gotten one from beating that. But, um, there's also retrieve the first old document, which is by making it to the first blockade before it falls, basically. Well, rather, before 5-7, which... I don't believe it actually falls on 5-7, but it's pretty close to falling at that point. So, retrieving the first old document then is a good- before then is a good idea, and that's why I wanted to go there. She wants to try a muscle drink. That we could actually do right now, and that gets us three revival beads, which is really good. And you can see the, uh, we, that one gets a, a bead chain, and this one gets us 12,000 yen. There's a lot of really good rewards for these requests, so these are basically this game's, well, quests. And visiting about Paulonia Mall. So... If we go to after school here, we could take her around Paolonia Mall. Perform Cadenza. Oh! Actually, we've already done that one, so I'm going to accept that request, because once we've accepted it, it'll automatically be completed, because we've already performed Cadenza. Uh, Juzumaru. It's a katana table obtainable in, within the first block. We can find that in a chest, and we don't want to bring it to her. And Pine Resin. This one is important. Note that it says, I would like some Pine Resin used by the Archery Club members. 5-2, May 2nd, will most likely be your chance to obtain it. Pay attention to that. If you go past that date, you will not have another chance to get it, and this request will be uncompletable. Keep that in mind. I'm going to accept that one now as well. Even though the deadline is May 7th, you have to do it by May 2nd, otherwise you fail. There's a lot that actually needs done by May, se May 7th, which is coming up pretty fast actually, it's next week. We have to get to that first old document and uh, retrieve a beetle shell, which beetle shell we can do. Get the first old document. I've already, already made strides towards that. Visit Pelonia Mall we can do tomorrow. And Pine Resin we can also do in two days when it's actually available. Alright. And we've completed a request, which was perform cadenza. Beautiful duet between two music musicians, specifically Orpheus and Opsaris. And we get a reward, which is Augie Lao Jeb. That is really useful. Uh, I probably actually won't use them that much, but they actually can be really good in a tight spot. Augie Lao is an increased power version of Augie. In fact, I believe it's the most powerful version of Augie, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. We get to use a really powerful spell during the game as an item instead. Still, um, we can also cancel requests, which costs us money. Keep that in mind. You don't want to cancel requests, so... Uh, also a new one has opened up, having performed Cadenza. We also have to perform Jack Brothers, uh, another, the next fusion spell. The fusion spell line is basically, after you complete one, another one will unlock. Ultimately, she wants us to do every single fusion spell possible. That one we can't even do yet, because we don't have any personas with Jack in their name. Still, with that, we're gonna go ahead and leave. We just have to get that Pine Resin. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go buy a muscle drink for her. That way she can have that per that request completed as well. We saw those at the pharmacy yesterday, actually. I don't think we actually have any. I'm gonna check to see if we actually have any. We do not. So I'm just gonna buy a muscle drink. Using a fair amount of our money on this. But if we can get that beetle shell, then we'll be pretty well set on money for at, le at least for a little while. Which we should be getting next Saturday at Tartarus. At the same time, I'm tempted to go to Tartarus a bit earlier, just because I don't want to risk things. Still, today is Thursday. Actually, I could... Yeah, I think I'll go tonight to Tartarus. So I'll go ahead and accept this request. Of uh, get a sip of a muscle drink. Yes. And now, complete a request. I'm pretty sure it's not safe, considering it has side effects. Oh, she doesn't even taste in front of us. I would have been curious of her reaction to how it tastes. We get three revival beads for that, which is really worth it. Wow, I'm really glad to have gotten that, because that leaves us with eight revival beads right now, which is a really good spot to be in this early in the game. Still, that's that taken care of, and I'm actually going to go to Tartarus tonight, like I said. Because we could go by the karaoke club, but honestly, going by the game panic is a bit more of a priority, which we can't do until tomorrow. And on top of that, if we go tomorrow uh, for, uh, if we go to Tartarus tomorrow, then we run into the trouble of, if we end up tired, then we won't be able to go on Saturday. So that could be a pro trouble. By going tonight, though, even if we end up tired, then we can, uh, 
recover in time for Saturday. So, let's go ahead and head to Tartarus tonight. And of course, um, if everything works out just right, then we can end up spending... We don't have to go on Saturday night if we finish everything, which, in theory, we should be able to. So, let's go ahead. We're here, everyone's here. I, I forgot to check. Sometimes there will be times when people aren't available to go with you to Tartarus, like... Well, I'm pretty sure early in the game that that never happens, though, so... Luckily, we're just gonna go back right into the Velvet Room and accept... Uh, the request for the Beetle Shell. Which we're gonna try to collect. And... Fizzing Pelo and Yamal we'll do in the morning. Uh, Pine Resin we have to do on the second. Must not forget that. And, um... Perform Jack Brothers we can do another time. This one we don't have to accept to be able to find it. We can find it any time. And the Beetle Shell... We have to accept for before the enemy will actually drop it. So that's important to note. So we're just going to leave now, and I'm going to save before heading into Tartarus. So let's... I'm just going to take care of that right now, and then I'm going to meet you up on the 10th floor. Alright, there we go. We're here on the 10th floor now. Keep in mind that those beetles only appear from, I believe, the 6th through 16th floor. So once we go above here, we'll only have a few more floors that we can find it on. Okay, good to know, blah, blah, blah. So yes, we can s split the party up, and if someone fights the Shadow alone, they gain a lot more experience individually, but overall the party does not... Well, we gain the same amount overall, but it's all focused on the one person when they defeat an enemy, and oh, Junpei got spotted, didn't he? Yes, he did. That means I was hoping to be able to lose aggro of that thing, and then just come back and be able to stab him in the back, and ooh, what is that? Okay, for a second there, I thought that blood was a red shadow. Red shadows are very dangerous. Still, um, I think I'm going to start fast-forwarding now until I can find one of those beetles. Also, you may notice that Shadow is afraid of us, so it's going to just run. So, cutting ahead. Alright, I just spotted a gold shadow. I, you actually might have seen it as I was cutting away before, because I noticed it right before getting into a battle. Sadly, we sold our extra bow. Crap, that's going to make catching this thing actually ne nearly impossible. Gonna have to get facing exactly away from us. If he spots us, he will get away. God, I just need to face exactly away. Okay, that's the exact opposite of what I want. Do it. There! Oh, there we go! Oh god, that was close. He almost started running. That's a rare form. Teach okay, he's waiting for restlessly. That means we've pretty much got him. As long as we use a spell instead of something that can miss. Okay, actually I forgot spells can miss. Okay, luckily he's still waiting. So we should potentially have him. There we go. Good job, Junpei. Alright, so we got another wealth coin out of that. That's nice. Still, uh... Ooh, is that the one that she wanted for her request? I don't think it was. Oh well, either way, cutting ahead again. Okay, I think I found one. Sadly, it spotted me. Try to get close and stab it. I'm not gonna get a player advantage, but yep, here we go. Here's the here's the grave beetle for the request, and we do need to use wind. So I'm actually gonna switch to angel. Yes, I for a second there I thought I didn't have angel, and I thought something had bugged out. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to angel for the first time in order to use Garu. This will make short work of this enemy, and that way we'll have what's needed for the request. Keep in mind, though, that just because we kill this thing, we won't necessarily get the item. And hopefully we will, and also notice how we're all flying out of the smoke cloud there. That means it's not dead yet, but it's not going to last much longer. Still, um... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, uh, we might have to find more of these to complete the request, but hopefully this thing will just be finished off right now. That would be super useful. Come on. Yes, he's finished off right now, but... Come on, I just really want... To... Okay, shuffle time is nice. Uh, in fact, I think I'll go with that coin, because we already have Upsaris. So let's get that. Yes, we got a beetle shell. That. Oh, and we got a level up, which means we can fuse that persona I was wanting. So we can create personas up to level 6 now. That is super good. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to cut ahead now, and I'm going to try to make it to the next floor. In fact... Now that I'm not just doing things that are repetitive, I'm gonna... I think I might fast-forward. It depends on what happens next. Alright. 
Okay, there's actually another boss monster fight. It's a good thing I decided to go today, then, because if we end up getting tired by that fight, then we could be in trouble. Still, I'm gonna be oh, uh, possibly cutting ahead till we get to that 14th floor. Oh, new enemy! The next shadow we got here is the Trance Twins. Or shadow? Shadows? Uh, I'm not sure if it's plural or not. Either way, it's a level 6 shadow of the Hierophant Arcana. It has the skills of Zeo, Spirit Drain, and Mazio. Zeo obviously doing electric damage, and Spirit Drain steals, I want to say, 20 SP from you, and it adds it to its own, so this thing will never run out of SP. It has 62 HP, 32 SP, is weak to fire and ice, but resistant to electricity. Everything else is even across the board, not too difficult enemies, and just, yeah, that's it. Here we have the Trance Twins. I believe they are just weak to Augie, though. But for now, I'm what I'm going to do, since we got an advantage, I'm just going to knock these two down or possibly kill them with Garu. Yeah, I'm just going to take them out with Garu and then uh, let the analyzing finish. That way I won't have to analyze them a second time. So, uh, tactics. Uh, stand by. Stand by. And I'll wait. There we go, that should make it so that we all wait. And then... It seems to have multiple weaknesses. Okay, so those are its weaknesses. It's gonna switch back to Nekomata and just finish it off. One enemy Even if it survives Augie somehow, or I'll attack, it won't survive. Oh, unless I miss. That's a problem. Because I left everyone on wait because I was too lazy. Oh, and he has Spirit Train. That's actually really bad. Shoot. That makes it he so he takes our SP and we don't have any way of getting it back. Well, that sucks. He actually took 20, which is like the equivalent of like 5 Augies. Oh well. Still, going back to cutting ahead. Alright, we've made it to the shadow. And yes, it is a single shadow this time, which makes me very scared. The single shadows tend to be a lot more difficult to beat than the ones with multiple shadows. For now though, I'm actually going to head back down and I'm going to turn in that request. So... Ugh, I'm really scared about this one. I remember this particular boss fight being particularly difficult. Still, I'm going to turn those requests right now. And save, because I'm going to be attempting to take on that boss, because I think that this, this is the last boss before the blockade, and then we'll be able to get the old document tonight as well, hopefully. So let's go ahead and accept a request. Alright, we got the beetle shell. Actually, yeah, I am kind of curious as to why you would want a beetle shell, but I guess that's your business. Still, that gives us 12,000 yen, which is really nice to have right now. Still, let's see if there's any new requests. There are not. So we just need to get the Pine Resin in two days. The Juzumaru. Let's see. Jack Brothers. Pel visit Pelonia Mall tomorrow. And first old document, hopefully tonight. Alrighty then. So let's go ahead and leave. And we're going to take on that boss now. Oh boy. This is going to be a fun one. Last time we had a lot of trouble with that boss fight, and this time will probably be no different. Although, we do have, um, eight revival beads as opposed to one this time, which is really good for us. In fact, if we had eight revival beads last time, then we wouldn't have had to stop exploring so early, because Yukari would have been able to be revived, and she would have been so tired, and it would have been good times all around. So let's just head up to the 14th floor now. And attempt to take on this boss. One shadow. But one shadow that's as strong as those three combined. The thing that's nice about the three shadow boss fight is you can focus down one of them and decrease their power by a third. This guy is equally strong until you kill him. <sighs> I'm a bit worried. Here we go, this is the Rampage Drive, a level 8 shadow of the Chariot Arcana. It has 450 HP, and the rest of its stats are unknown, so I'm not sure what to say for those, unfortunately. Its skills are Assault Dive, Mazio, Ta and Tarukaja. Assault Dive is a move that does a little bit of strike damage, it's not to be uh, underestimated though, because he has a fairly high strength stat, I know that much, I don't know the exact number though. Mazio, with the last shadow as you saw, it does AoE uh, electricity damage, and Tarukaja allows him to boost his attack for a about three turns. It's definitely something to be feared when he uses Tarukaja than Assault Dive, so be very careful of this shadow. He is entirely immune to all forms of physical da damage, that's strike, 
Pierce, and Slash. So, he's actually no to Slash and Pierce, but if you attempt to use Strike, he reflects it. This is the first case of having a reflect enemy, I think. When it reflects, that means whoever used the attack takes the damage. So be very, very careful. Do not use any form of strike damage against this guy, whatever you do. He's also resistant to fire, and he knows light and darkness. So, this is basically a really powerful physical damage enemy. You want to focus on using a lot of magic on him, primarily ice, electricity, and wind. If you don't do those, you're going to have a tough time with this guy because he can hit hard. He can't like, quite one-shot someone, but he can come close, so be careful. It seems you've attracted the Guardian's attention. Its Arcana is the Chariot. Chariot. I know when they tell the Arcana, it does definitely tell us something. I'm not sure what the pattern is, though. I believe Chariot ones focus primarily on giving themselves buffs and then one-shotting you. I think. I bet I could very well be mistaken, though. So we got our most powerful persona out right now, and our, one of our most versatile. Let's start off with an Augie and see what that does. Okay, just 20 damage, not bad. Okay, let's see what Garu does, though. The problem with most boss fights is they usually don't have something that can knock them down. The early ones do, but I believe this is the first one that does not. Alright, so he's completely resistant to Slash. And he has Mazio! That is not good. That's gonna keep Yukari down for most of this fight. So, I think I'm gonna have to devote myself to dedicated healer. So I'm gonna heal Yukari on this one. And in fact, I think I'll set Yukari to heal and support next turn. Because she's honestly not going to be dealing a lot of damage anyway. Jupei will have to be our main damage dealer for this fight, and we're going to focus on keeping him and everyone else in the party alive. And as I thought, his attack has increased. That means that his next uh, physical attack will deal a lot of damage. So yeah, I'm going to set Yukari to heal and support. And Junpei, you are to... I'm, I'm assigning target just to make sure he will not do anything except for attack. So I'm going to heal Junpei this turn. I should be fine for one more turn at least. So, I think we'll be good. Hang in there. Yeah, Yukari will heal me, and we'll all be at full health. So, no matter what he does, he can't one-shot any of us. Alright. If we keep this up, we should be able to beat him. But he's using Mazio. Luckily, his attack up... Wait. Oh, no, attack up... Yes, attack up does increase his magic attack. I forgot. It just increases his attacks in general. It's something where if he focuses then it can increase either his attack or magic attack based on what kind of focus he did. But this time, it increased his attack overall. Luckily, he still can't one-shot, so as long as he doesn't do a targeted Zeo spell, we should be fine. So let's see. I think they will do damage more this turn. And, oh, he's using Assault Dive. Oh, good dodge, Yukari. That could have been bad. Alright, I'm going to heal Junpei, and then Yukari will heal me. But still, Assault Drive, that is a very powerful physical attack. I believe it's Strike Damage. And oh my god, that could have one-shot her. Luckily, she dodged it, though. Alright, we're just gonna keep on healing and doing consistent damage. It'll take time, but we'll take him down. And his attack is reverted, so... Okay, just using a regular Pierce attack on me. I'm gonna trust Yukari to heal me, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to get an Agi in, since we have higher magic damage than Junpei, I believe. Yeah, we do, by 7. So Yukari will heal me, and Junpei will deal damage, and we'll have done two attacks in one turn, so that's definitely worth it for us. So, that's that. Gone to half health already. Oh, and there's Assault Drive again. Whew, that was close. So yeah, as, if he had had his attack up when he had used that, Yukari would have been one shot. So yeah, that's very dangerous. Oh, I was hoping she would heal herself, because... Well, actually, wow, Yukari's dealing damage, wow. She might actually be our most powerful mage right now. Okay, hit me with a pierce attack. I'm gonna trust Yukari to heal me. Actually, if I heal myself, then Yukari will deal damage again, and she'll do more damage than I will. So yeah, Yukari dealing damage now. That's really good for us, because if they both attack, then that means we'll take it down more than twice as fast. Just hopefully it does not use an attack up assault, uh, assault drive on us. Alright, hitting us with assault drive, we can survive that. We can't survive two of it, but we can survive one quite easily. So right now, I'm just going to trust my party members to deal damage, and Yukari, yep, she'll do another Garu. Oh, she missed, though. That sucks. Still, we should have this done. I'm going to estimate in three turns. Okay, doing a soul drive on Junpei, which he can quite easily survive. I'm going to heal him. 
It's kind of weird when the main character becomes a dedicated healer, but it's pretty common in this game because you can actually trust your allies to deal a lot of damage. And of course, some, the problem is you can't always trust them to heal correctly, so it's often good for you to heal yourself just to be safe. Alright, Mazio. Oh, good dodge, Yukari! Alright, um... Okay, I know for a fact I can survive an Assault Drive, but Junpei cannot. So I'm gonna heal Junpei. And Yukari will probably heal me, yes. Ooh, man, Yukari's being a powerhouse this fight. Dealing damage, healing, and dodging all the important spells. Alright, as long as he doesn't... Okay, he didn't one-shot her. So, if she attacks this turn, we might actually be able to finish it. I, I think she... Yes, she will attack. I should have just set her to attack, that way she would definitely attack. And yeah, Junpei can now finish him off. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. We managed to basically just combo him to death. Wait! Oh crap, he actually survived. If he had just gotten like a crit on me and killed me out of spite, I would have been so mad. But I'm not mad right now, I'm just gonna finish him off myself. Done and done. Keep up the good work. So that's another boss taken out, and Bomb of Life! Now that is a good item. Bomb of Life fully revives one of your allies. Not just revives their health and um, to half, it fully revives them to full HP. So it's like twice as powerful as a revival beat. So that's a really good item to have. It can really save you in a bad situation. So what am I going to do? I'm going to save because I don't know if that fight could have gone so... It couldn't have gone any better, honestly. We didn't have anyone knocked down. We didn't have to use any items. And overall, things just went great. So that is that. Let's see, what day is today in the game anyway? 30th, alright. So, yeah, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything that was special today. Luckily I didn't. And I'm just going to go back to exploring targets. We can go up above the 14th floor now, and I think we're very close to the, to the blockade. I'm just going to speed up from here, so I'll see you guys when I reach that blockade, I think. Oh, forgot about the two chests. Yeah, uh, this enemy happened to have two chests after it. So we got a Soma, which I believe fully heals the party. Or, what does it do? Actually, I'm not sure. I'm getting confused with other things. So, uh, Soma fully restores the party's HP and SP. So Somas are super good to have, but use them in emergencies. And another Bomb of Life. Excellent. So yeah, good loot from this particular boss fight. And I'll see you guys when we uh, get further. And as it turns out, I just had to go one floor. And yes, we have actually reached the blockade now. As you see, if we examine it, path to the next floor is blocked. We can't go any further. This is as far as we can go in Tartarus for now. But there is a treasure chest here containing the first old document. The old documents can be read, but I won't be reading them until I have all of them because it's better to have it as one cohesive story. So. I'm going to go ahead and take this teleporter back down to the first floor. And we're going to be done in Tartars for tonight. I kind of wish I had gone on Saturday now. That way I wouldn't have to w miss another night of karaoke. But, oh well. At least it's done and done. And we can now turn that request for the old document. Which I believe gets us... It wasn't Revival Beads. It wasn't Yen. It got us something good, though. So let's go ahead and accept that request. So. Uh, first old document. Got in time. Alright, and it's completed. She just basically recommends it, and we receive a bead chain. Oh yeah, that's really good to have. It's like a half Soma. It doesn't restore SP, but it's still really good. Keep in mind, though, that Soma does not revive party members, so it's not all powerful, but it's still really powerful. Still, we've, re we've completed just about everything we can for now. I'm going to go ahead and accept this, because I'm going to do that tomorrow. So, um, just need to get the pine resin and we'll be all set to go. Still, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. I think that's enough for this episode, though. So, oh, man, stretch. Oh, man, I've been recording for a while now. <laughs> Still, that's going to be it for this episode, and I think this is going to be my last save spot before I have to start overriding. No, actually, I have to start overriding this time. That's fine, it's just episode one. Still, that'll be it for this episode. This has been Wentis. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time for more Persona 3 FES.